Reports are stating that Hunmin Son and Brian Hill will miss the Newcastle game on Sunday and could also miss the Europa Conference League game in Holland on Thursday night and the trip to West Ham next Sunday. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. A number of media reports were published last night and have continued to be written and published today uh, by lots of media outlets in the UK. And they are all stating that two Tottenham Hotspur players have tested positive for COVID-19 and will now miss three games. The away trip to Newcastle in the Premier League on Sunday afternoon, the Europa Conference League game uh, against Vitesse Arnhem on Thursday, and then next week's Premier League clash at the London Stadium against West Ham United. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the One Football app for all of the live football scores, results and news, as well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel. You can also see it all here. Download the One Football app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. A report was published earlier today by the Independent newspaper and they are stating unnamed Tottenham duo test positive for coronavirus before Newcastle clash. The two unidentified players must now isolate for 10 days. Tottenham's plans for Sunday's Premier League trip to Newcastle have been plunged into chaos after two players tested positive for coronavirus. Both men who trained with the group on Thursday were shown to have contracted uh, COVID-19 after tests in the last 24 hours. The two unnamed players must now isolate for 10 days as per government rules, keeping them out of the game at St James's Park, a Europa Conference League game against Vitesse Arnhem and the London Derby at West Ham next weekend. Both players are due to be retested on Saturday as per standard procedure. The report from the Independent then says that the club are understood to be confident that no other players will have to isolate having come into close contact. In his press conference on Friday afternoon, Spurs boss Nuno Espirito Santo admitted that he has been left with huge issues following the latest international break. The news will bring more frustration for Nuno Espirito Santo, who saw his side suffer in the wake of September's international fixtures when some squad members returned injured and three South American players went to Croatia for 10 days in order to avoid hard quarantine in England. Spurs signed off before the international break with a 2-1 win against Aston Villa. Nuno said in his press conference on Friday after the international break, there are always huge problems that happen. We have problems, but I will not say before the game. Uh, then back to the report from the Independent. It states after that win against Aston Villa, Nuno was hoping to name an unchanged side. However, those plans have now been hit. Also in his press conference, Nuno Espirito Santo confirmed that he wanted to choose exactly the same team to face Newcastle that beat Aston Villa before the international break. He said what we wanted was after the game against Aston Villa, which I think was one of the best performances that we have had in terms of the team, how we did things, how we reacted when we conceded, all of these small steps that we took in the right direction. Uh, the idea was immediately to have a good week, trying to establish and create routines among players. He then went on to say, but that was not possible. So you stay here with a group of players with the small numbers. Just try and improve them individually, not in the aspect of the team because the squad was not here. So what we want now is try to recover them. Uh, we have problems, but you're going to see that we have problems. We have small issues, big issues if you want. But the best way is to get a reference point and the reference point was the game against Aston Villa. So that should be our starting point for a tight schedule that we're going uh, to beat four games away from home. So starting from there, if I could, I'll be honest with you, we would repeat the same 11 because that's the best way to start something. It will not only be possible, uh, but then you have to try again, try again and try again. A report has been published by The Boot Room earlier today and they are stating that Spurs fans have been left flabbergasted once again after reports emerged on Friday evening to suggest both Hunmin Son and Brian Hill will miss this weekend's clash with Newcastle. 
Then states reports emerged on Friday to state that two Spurs players had tested positive for COVID-19 following the international break. And as the night continued, rumours on social media suggested that those players are indeed Brian Hill and Hunmin Son. It means that Nuno Espirito Santo faces a huge problem in attack now. Hunmin Son has been the star player this season for the team. Brian Hill, too, has just started to settle into a routine of getting minutes. And reports from Sky Sports haven't directly named Hunmin Son or Brian Hill as yet. However, the Evening Standard does not name either player in its starting 11 and states that Hunmin Son is not expected to play. And also a report from Yonhap News Agency uh, from South Korea, and they are stating that the South Korean football governing body said on Saturday is trying to verify reports that the men's national team captain Hun Min Son had tested positive for COVID-19 during his most recent international duty. It then states that British media reported on Friday that two players from Tottenham Hotspur had been infected with coronavirus and will be sidelined for the team's next match against Newcastle United on Sunday. Tottenham Hotspur coach Nuno Espirito Santo acknowledged that the team is now facing huge issues but said he would not elaborate further before the game. Later on in their article, it states that Hunmin Son joined the national team on the 5th of October and played against Syria two days later in the first of two World Cup qualifying matches of the month. He then flew to play Iran on uh, Tuesday before heading back to London. An official with uh, the Korea Football Association said that Hunmin Son had tested negative twice while in Iran. The official added uh, that the Football Association had asked Tottenham whether Hunmin Son is indeed one of the infected players, but hasn't heard back from the club. The Korea Football Association had earlier said that South Korea-based players who had returned home after the trip to Iran all tested negative. And in a Korea Football Association um, official statement, it says, according to our national team doctor, even if Son had tested positive, it is unlikely then it would lead to a breakout within the team. Now, my thoughts on this, lots of media reports are publishing lots of stories about this uh, this situation at the moment. And uh, you've got to feel sorry, really, uh, you know, for Nuno Espirito Santo, because when you think at the start of this Premier League season, we won three games, the international break, um, it just seemed to ruin everything. Um, and then, of course, we got that win against Aston Villa before the international break, then the international break again. And now there's more problems again. Um, it's just so frustrating, you know, for our manager, for the club, for all of us fans. We just want to get that winning, uh, you know, momentum going again. You know, of course, everybody at Newcastle on Sunday is going to be on an absolute high. Uh, but if this news is true and uh, Brian Hill and Hunmin Son will miss in the next three games, it is going to be a huge blow to us. Hunmin Son, and as it said in one of them reports that I read out earlier, um, you know, Hunmin Son has been one of our best players so far this season. He's our top goal scorer with three Premier League goals at the moment, you know, in Premier League football. Harry Kane hasn't scored um, in Premier League football as yet, hoping he will get a goal at St James's Park on Sunday. Um, but this will be a huge blow if this is true um, and these two players will miss those three games. Um, Obviously, I'm hoping uh, that we get the three points on Sunday at St James's Park, but we need a fully fit squad. We need every single player available. And, uh, you know, like Nuno said in his press conference um, on Friday, you know, he would have chosen exactly the same team that beat Aston Villa. You know, why change a team? Um, you know, why change a winning team? And, uh, you know, that's exactly what my predicted lineup would have been anyway. Exactly the same team that beat Aston Villa. And I just feel a little bit for Nuno because, you know, he wants to constantly try and get the best possible 11 on the pitch, get every single player playing, and then we just have multiple issues time and time again. It's just so frustrating. But anyway, I must also stress that this has not been confirmed. The players have not been confirmed by anybody official. You know, Tottenham certainly haven't put out any statements as yet. Uh, but an interesting tweet from Alistair Gold went out earlier. And it states, obviously, he's the uh, journalist with Football.London. He said, I get social media's need to know the names of two Spurs players who have tested positive. However, other than having a retest today to confirm, which, of course, is Saturday, it's down to them whether they want to reveal 
what is ultimately a medical issue. They may well do that, but it's their choice. And of course it is. Um, you know, so will we actually get a uh, an official statement from Spurs? I'm not so sure. Um, I just think that we're going to have to wait uh, to see the starting eleven and to wait to see the uh, the Spurs bench on Sunday afternoon at St James's Park and go from there. And I think that um, you know if it is Hunmin Son and Brian Hill, we will uh, we will certainly work that out because uh, they would definitely be in the Tottenham Hotspur squad. Uh, you know, without any question. Anyway, so we, we'll wait for the information if it comes uh, or indeed wait uh, at half past three to uh, to get the news of, uh, of the Tottenham Hotspur team to face Newcastle United. Anyway, I'll see you on the next video. Uh, come on, you Spurs.